Welcome back, viewers, to Darkest Dungeon. Um, so I felt like on that last, the last run, we got some pretty bad beats. We had a lot of bad luck. We had uh, a tremendous amount of low end of the damage range, damage rolls. We got crit constantly. We crit uh, pretty rarely ourselves, certainly nowhere near our estimated crit rate. Uh, we ended up having to fight a lot of battles with a lot of large and dangerous enemies. I will say we probably dodged quite a bit above average. Um, but on the whole, I think we had pretty bad luck. And we still won. You can probably hear the frustration in my voice uh, during the fight. It always, it always feels bad to have the numbers go against you. But, through a combination of being absolutely, completely, totally prepared, as prepared as we could get, and playing well and not letting the bad, uh, not letting the bad beats get to us, not, not uh, going on tilt from getting, getting some bad luck, we managed to make it through. And that's heartening more than anything. We have to remember that we can beat bad luck really almost all the time in this game. You just have to play smart, you know, uh, build your parties well, keep your people up to date in gear, especially make sure that you have access to good trinkets. Uh, so we've assembled a party here. I uh, forgot to equip them before starting the video. I'm trying to do that stuff not on camera, so that you guys don't have to watch me scroll through my trinkets a hundred thousand times. Uh, this is a pretty good trinket. Minus two accuracy is a small price to pay for what is actually uh, quite a lot of survivability. And I think that we're going to give him the Ancestor's Pen. Uh, Dismas, Orlebar. I feel bad when I call them by the names of uh, other people who are like them, but are now dead. That feels crummy. Book of Sanity and Ancestors map. And then you get this. And... Uh, we're going to the cove. So stabbing people to make them bleed is not going to be the greatest thing for him. Or for her, rather. Eh, it's still alright. You know, this they should definitely be in reverse order, though. Uh, I haven't upgraded all of his skills. We spent uh, quite a bit of money getting these guys geared up. Several of them were uh, at level 1 weapons and armor. So... This will have a good payout, though, if we can just survive it. The restraining padlock isn't actually very... Or wait, did we lose our other restraining padlock? No, no, no. Our, okay, our abomination is actually still alive, isn't he? Or... No, he just didn't have the restraining padlock on him when he died. Okay, well. This is an extra 3750 then. It's quite a lot of extra gold. And hey, crests. You can always use crests. Uh, I did equip... I'm a little paranoid after, uh, after completely failing to do it on a couple of occasions. It does cost quite a bit of gold to outfit for a long mission. Uh, it, we, we shouldn't have to sell a trinket here, but if we do it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, a little bit more holy water, I suppose. And bandages. We are going to need bandages for sure. Well, we do have a plague doctor. Still, let's bring let's bring three bandages. Okay. Rough fights, rough fights so far. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be washed out. Not a great start. Really? Ancient traps lie in wait. 
Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Apparently. Alright, so this is just a yellow mission. Uh, I don't expect it to be cripplingly difficult. We do still have two yellow tier bosses left to fight. I believe. Another mariner. Another misfortune. Right, just two, right? Because it's the it's the the inquit flesh and. Um, okay. Yeah, so we should get around to that at some point. We uh, only have a, a single level four right now, so it's going to be important for us to get somebody up to actual boss fighting level first. Bleed resist is enough that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother. That's actually kind of inconvenient. I hadn't really thought about that. Uh yeah. We'll just give him the tentacles. Okay. Ow. Unforgiving. Oh my god. My plague doctor doesn't have battlefield medicine. Well, that's just. What a way to throw away a, a huge advantage. Bringing a plague doctor to the cove is supposed to be really powerful. Dodge. Resist bleeds. Alright, there you go. Um. Minus 15, like... Dropping his dodge isn't very good. The ground quakes. But that's also not very good. <laughs> this will put us in position Great for a the weapon blank. that cuts on its own. This thing has the same speed as business, so there, or as uh, Orlebar, so there's a pretty good chance, about a 50-50 chance that we get our thing off before he gets his thing off. All right, excellent. Uh, forty-five. We got forty-five stress already, man. The bigger the beast. The greater the glory. I think this gives us a chance to get the drop. I probably, at some point in the near future, should stop recording the yellows as well. Uh, maybe when we've cleared the yellow bosses would be a good time for that. Look, a little damage. This attack only hits the front too. Well, let's try to get her down before she can do anything. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Great dodge. His, uh, his dodge chance is quite high. Now, unfortunately, we will have to lay the stun on this guy. I think the only person we have capable of doing that is the Crusader. Oh, no. The, uh, the fact that he's being guarded will allow us to do that. Unfortunately, we're not actually in much of a position to take advantage of it. Sun chance is not that great. A decisive pummeling. Well, a crit from the bottom of the damage range is still better than a non-crit. But it's not that much better. As the fiend falls, the 
faint hope blossoms. Uh, you're down ten. It's not that bad. Yeah, honestly, I would much rather have battlefield medicine than um, the melee attack that causes bleeds in this situation. I'm really annoyed with myself for not making sure that my plague doctor had that. Give them no quarter. Nope. Still don't care about busts. Okay, Curious is a good one. I was hoping for Fengophobia, but yeah, Curious is a good one to remove. This place is very dense with combat. And a ghoul. Alright. Hooray for point blank shot. The enemy crumbles. I wish we had a better way of taking advantage of the mark. Honestly, it might still have been worthwhile just for the dodge reduction. And it does buff, uh, it does buff Dismas a tiny amount. Well, shit. I think that was the best we could have hoped for. Assault cannot be left unanswered. I mean, the ghoul choosing to use Rend, not us critically getting weird monster juices sprayed all over us. The skull toss never fails. Bleed resist is only 40%. I'm pretty surprised about that uh, resist. Yeah, 129. Yeah. Okay, well, this is, uh, alone does not dissuade the sharpening. Merely a trick of the light? Uh, we, yeah, we really still are mostly in need of gold. Alright, I'm gonna have him do this because I still would really like his fingophobia to get solved. Nice. Oh, I forgot to switch Dismas, sorry, but one box, but actually, that's probably okay. It would be nice to be able to kill one of these things. Sixty-seven. It's starting to get a little high. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Well. Uh, fish dude out of the fight and he'll almost die. This is how a life is taken. Uh. Huh. 
Huh. What do I want to do here? I don't have any uh, extremely great plays. I could have de-stressed somebody, I guess. Death by inches. And this guy needs to take a little bit of damage. Unfortunately, more than you... Well, this might hit for three. Nope. So there's an okay chance that this might be stunned. We're definitely not getting him now at 125. Also was excellent. She's got aw uh, only 13 damage on him. Well, we better make sure he dies. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Alright, that's pretty handy. Sadly, we do have to go this way. This battle's not too bad. Uh... What do I want to do here? It's going to be his turn next. Yeah, let's do this. This thing will get one attack off. He will be able to zealous accusation, which will put this thing down to only needing one serious hit to die. Yeah, I think this is the most the most effective way to run this combat. Unfortunately, the wide mouth might get another turn just due to him being extremely fast. No, he didn't even. Okay then. That went uh, pretty, pretty spectacularly for us. Wow, we had a lot of shovels. Pride precipitates a dizzying fall. I don't think we're going to need all these shovels. Let's go ahead and use one to crack these chest. Bunch of deeds. Trade our shovels for basically nothing. Um, you know what? Holy water's not that useful in here. Oh good. Chance to take down these oracles. Well, uh, it looks like each of them is going to get to uh, get to go once. Devastating blow. We actually when we start with uh when we start with the highwaymen up front, we actually don't have a lot of options for dealing with the back couple rows. Okay, Vavil definitely needs a little help. Wow. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Oh, I forgot, I should have dropped the deeds. Oh, right, we're completely out of uh, room for gold. Okay. Deeds over gold, definitely. It even made the noise, like I clicked. I thought I was, uh, thought it was okay to start walking forward.
We have found a lot of spare shovels. back up because I do not think that we uh, need to camp yet. Wow, we got surprised in full light. That does not happen very often. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I feel confident that that was right. This puts us back into fighting order. And then his arterials get picked. <sighs> I don't know if I even want, honestly, I don't know if I even want to uh, have an advantage. Maybe we just have him struggle through. Or her, rather. I keep saying him. Plague Doctor is female. Uh, Plague Doctor's name is Huse. It's a strange one. Okay, if this sticks, we're gonna. Okay. If that had stuck, we definitely would have bandaged. Well, zero's a little bit lower than what I was looking for. Also, that's incredibly annoying. Okay. Alright, well actually we come out of that in pretty good shape. Camping in falls. We should camp relatively soon. Pretty soon. Oh, I should uh, rearrange my party probably. Hmm. Honestly, we're pretty good on food. I'm not gonna worry too much about the Medicinal herbs here are about more than food. Um, the bloated fish carcass thing can have a lot of different kinds of loot in it. Oh, I shouldn't have torched. I should have held out and uh, held out and waited for my opportunity to camp. That one was, uh, that one was bad. Creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Uh, <clears throat> Don't want to drop. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop bandages. This time, I am not going to use the shovel. Uh, if somebody in your party is going to get... Ah, I torched again. If somebody in your party is going to get diseased, obviously you want it to be a plague doctor. Plague doctors have uh, good, strong disease removal skills available at camp. 
It's nice to be able to undo this without having to use gold. The point of these plated maggots uh, is really they are not very compelling enemies. Time for some the stress healing. Of safety. A trifling victory, huh. but a victory nonetheless. Let's drop the torches. We'll be able to keep our light up with the campfires. And then I think I need to make camp like pretty shortly here. Sure, the match is struck. A blazing star is born. enough to stop him from dropping more stress onto our cultist. Wish we had slightly better AoE on this team. Sadly, our only, uh, our only real area damage is front two zealous accusation, then back to uh, plague doctor stuff. And we don't have any options for multi-targeting the middle two rows. It's not a thing you really need to do all that much. But it would be nice uh, for this party because we keep coming up just short on killing someone. Uh, I think we're gonna endure the stress casters' uh, single remaining turn. Yeah, that's not so bad. That's pretty bad. In a single strike. Okay, so he's dead, and we can uh, we can spend some time healing here. Also, getting crits. Now he's even more dead. Two. Remind yourself that uh, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Right, we really, we, we do have a ton of food. We've had uh, no hunger events, I think. Is that right? Or maybe just one? There are so many room battles on this room battles mission. It's a little bit crazy. Okay, we got the knockback. I am pretty pleased about it. Although it does mean, sadly, that we are not, uh, not in a position to 
hit both of the bluegills, or the pelagic wide mouths, they're called at this level. Not able to hit both of them with one attack from the plague doctor. Did not resist the lead, what a shame. Okay, there you go, that's some healing. nice if this worked. Oof. And now our occultist is out of position. And we can't use point blank or we'll get him even more out of position. Alright. Uh, Noxious Blast is still usable from row 2. Strangely named French, or uh, strangely named Plague Doctor. Oh, it still had moves selected, damn it. I'm so used to having um, reconstruction selected. Generate a decent heal here. Nope. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Wow. Always so much gold. Well, I can't toss the shovel. Uh, this is only worth fifteen hundred. So if we sold it, or if we dropped it for a stack of fifteen hundred gold, or actually these are only worth eleven twenty-five. That's right. Dropping it for a stack of gold is definitely an upgrade. Yeah, let's just open it. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm not actually going to drop any of this stuff. My plan is to make camp once our, uh, once our light has dwindled a bit. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Okay. I really, really don't like the fact that, first of all, it keeps the person you uh, clicked on selected instead of keeping the person you executed the move command with selected. And secondly, that it keeps move lit up. So if you click again, you get another position change. Sure are a lot of room battles. Alright, that's a lot better. He's actually in the fight now. Well, that was pretty effective for them. enough out of you two. So, so annoyed that I didn't bring Battlefield Medicine. Am I ever going to be able to kill these damn fish? Hmm. 
now let's just make sure this thing dies. I thought about um, trying it with the zealous accusation. But I'd much rather have Vaville available for stun. And the prop debuff or the prop buff has worn off now. So we can let this guy have it for a whole six damage. That'll show him. Excellent heals from our occultist puts our party right back together. This expedition at least promises success. Alright, I'd like to at least finish out this little hallway before I uh before I go making sure. Oh my god. How many battles have we fought in this dungeon? It feels like a million. Only seven, always only seven. That's a very annoying thing to do. But, still able to do this at least. Push on to the task's end. Uh, you do it. You're healthy. Well, I should have had um, a plague doctor do that, obviously. And also, obviously, that should be happening. So, we do have the Ancestor's map, right? We, I just haven't seen a scout in quite some time. We went through all of this without getting any scouts, I believe, right? I don't know what the base scouting chance is, so I don't know how much plus 25 is relative to it. But it definitely feels like we are not getting a lot of scouting done here. Sure. <clears throat> Let's just make camp now. I was kind of waiting for that to happen. Gathered close in tenuous firelight, an uneasy companionship. So, zealous vigil. Speech wouldn't be terrible. It's him who got the red plague, right? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and take care of that. The Red Plague cured. I just had these leeches with me. They cured your plague. That gives her, that gives her some disease resist. Even when it doesn't actually remove a disease. In Radiance, may we find victory. Alright. Let's wrap this up. Oh, extra ghoul just wandering around. That's uh it's annoying. Precision and power. All 
right, we should be able to stun this thing. There we go. We can just kind of ignore the stupid little snail for a little while. Let's make sure the ghoul gets brought down quickly. You know, I'm starting to think that this isn't animosity at all. Maybe this thing just really likes Fargo. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination is considered a virtue. No, Wayne, sometimes I feel like I just don't have any idea what you are on about. Ooh. Oh, wait. We don't have medicinal herbs. Can you still get that result without them? I actually don't know. Nope. You can gain 21 stress, though, because the coral is unnerving. Curious is the trap maker's art. This efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Yeah, unfortunately, if we don't uh, if we don't get any scouts, then we can't get to the secret room. Also, man, holy crap! So many room battles. I wish I'd been counting. So keep him from dodging. That should be a, uh, a very tremendous help. Sadly, we do not get to eliminate him before his turn. The Vaville speed is minus eight right now. Pretty rough. Wow, okay. Uh, man. Marking them is not very good. I guess Curse of Weakness could be okay. We can get a reasonable heal off on Volville. He's still pretty far below his, uh, his max HP. You guys are terrible at this. Right, again? You're also pretty horrible at your thing. He's not quite there yet. Uh, well, now it is. So, of course, he's going to put up Barnacle Barrier so that we can't really take advantage. The whole joy of... Uh, of things like being able to dot somebody out is that it allows you to focus on other enemies. While they're slowly bleeding to death. Uh, but when a guy who is very low on health casts Barnacle Guard, then we all either have to uh, actually attack him, which feels a little bit like a waste, or just wait for the uh, Blight and Bleed to tick him out, which means that we're not attacking the uh, his compatriot. Do we have scouting info at least? So the last room battle 
is in the very, very last room. We can't drop the food because we might get a hunger event and I'd really like not to. We can drop the firewood. I may as well use this key now that I know there's no secret room to enter. I think I want crests more than deeds. Oh yeah, I definitely want crests more than deeds. All deeds can do is upgrade the, uh, um, the stagecoach, which I don't really need to be upgraded. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's a little scary. Now I have to travel quite a distance just hoping for no food event. I mean, not quite a distance, like one hallway. Alright, two more battles. I am actually quite curious um, how many battles I had this dungeon, because it definitely feels like a lot. Uh, we know I don't need this anymore, so we may as well take that in its stead. Burn that right from there. Okay, well, at least this battle shouldn't be terribly long. Okay, not bad. Wow. This is going very well. Lots of great dodges. Uh, we've had a lot of attacks, or a lot of combats here, where we've taken very few attacks due to uh, due to good luck. Even though we have had also a lot of uh, very low damage hits. I suppose I probably could have pitched this stack of food at some point before now, right? Three enemies that I really hate. Hopefully the madman will drop one of those uh, one of those sweet box trinkets. I would really, really like one. Right, time to see if Vaville can one shot a madman. Oh, actually we still have another Yeah, we wanna take the madman out. Man. That guy's voice work is uh, pretty solid. Really? You're just prolonging the inevitable, man. What is your plan here, little fish dude? How exactly are you going to manage to kill us? Sorry I've gotten quiet, there's just very little to say here. Things are going well, you know, not mind-blowingly, but pretty well. I would say that we have, uh, we have struck above average here. Although, we've struck above average in our fight performance, and also, by a pretty large margin, the number of fights. I feel like we've been in this... Uh, I feel like we've been in this dungeon for basically forever. Oh, right. We're right at the end here. Well, let's, uh, let's do that, I guess. You get de-stressed by one of these things? You can. Awesome. 
All right, well, a pretty good haul on that. The pungent odor abates. The things are driven back and, for a time. Uh, importantly, now we should have some people at a level to finish off the yellow bosses. Unless by doing such a long mission we catapulted Vaville right over, which I guess is possible. Yep, we did, in fact. Why did he get 16 XP? Alright, Photomania, that's a great one. Warrior of Light, that's a great one. Tapeworm, that's not a great one. He's gonna he's gonna get that taken uh taken out. Taken off. My obsession caused this great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. Now that she's been de-quirked. What is her disease? Scurry? Yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, we don't actually have to de-stress anybody from the last mission, though. That went really smoothly. Oh, no replacement bounty hunter. Go ahead and knock that out. So. Deeds. Literally worthless. It's kind of satisfying to know that, I, that I'm completely finished with them. So what do we still need? We still need crests, obviously. Uh, we need a handful of portraits. You don't use portraits for that much. And we do need to finish upgrading the abbey and the sanitarium. Which is busts. Lots of busts. We'll decide exactly... Uh, exactly what to get once we either have a situation where we need to get one of the upgrades or we just have so many busts that I think we can buy everything. Alright, well, thank you for watching that extremely long and honestly probably not that exciting uh, episode of Darkest Dungeon. We now have two level fours. Vaughville just blazed right past. So, uh, we're almost, almost at uh, boss fighting time. I do want to get uh, I want to get people up and ready so that if a good trinket appears, like a gunslinger's buckle, which is something that we can totally use, we are in a position to go get it. Uh, fortunately, we do have quite a quite a. All right, everybody, calm down. I'm just looking. We do have quite a lot of missions that award good trinkets now available to us, thanks to our uh, generally high level party. So we'll have our trinkets replaced in no time. We'll be we'll be in good shape. Well, uh, I've been talking for like an hour here. So uh, join us next time when we probably gather three medicines because I would really, really like to have some focus rings again. And we'll see you then.